Hey guys, it's Crazy Coupons. Welcome back to my channel. And this video is all about you guys, my subscribers, my supporters, and my awesome, crazy, crazy couponers. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my Dollar General Clearance Event Haul from January, and I'm gonna give y'all some of my top clearance event tips, and then we're gonna take a look at some pictures that you guys sent in, and y'all, I am so impressed, and it makes me so, so happy to see that y'all are out there saving so much money. And then at the end of the video, we are gonna be giving away some gift cards. So before we get started, if you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button because it's a free way that you can help your girl out, and as always if you have any questions comments deals you want to share or if you just want to say hello y'all know i love hearing from you so please leave me a comment down below before you go and also take a minute to share this video with somebody that you know so that they get in on these deals as well all right guys let's jump right in now, before we get into the Dollar General Clearance event tips that I have for y'all, plus those awesome, amazing pictures that y'all sent in, I do want to say welcome to all of our new crazy couponers. I have noticed that the subscribers have gone up significantly, so I know we have a lot of new crazy couponers in here, and I just want to say thank you all so, so much for hitting that subscribe button, for supporting my channel, and for watching my videos. Y'all don't even know how much I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you all. And in fact, I think we hit 20,000 subscribers back in January during that clearance event. Um, and I was going to do this big giveaway when we hit 20,000 subscribers. But you guys have been so amazing with sharing my videos and hitting that thumbs up button and watching the videos all the way through that we are now looking at 22,000 subscribers. So we flew right past 20,000 subscribers. We hit 21 and then we are on our way to 22,000 subscribers. So I cannot even believe it. It blows my mind every time I think about that number. Um, so I just want y'all to know how truly, truly grateful I am for you guys. Now, with that being said, I do want to say for all of my newbies out there, we are going to be talking about the Dollar General Clearance events in this video, and you guys are going to see some amazing hauls. So if you are curious to know more about Dollar General Clearance events, I do have an awesome video that I put together of everything that you need to know about DG Clearance events, and I will leave that video linked in the pinned comment down below. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and jump right in, shall we? So first up, we're going to take a look at my Dollar General Clearance Event haul from back in January. Now, I have been so excited to share what all I picked up back in January with y'all, but I just didn't have time to get everything organized. So thankfully, I took the week off last week and kind of got everything together and was able to put together these pictures and show you guys the different transactions that I did. So as y'all can see, back in January, we had Pop-Tarts on clearance. And this was one of my last transactions that I did that day. Um, this was also on a Saturday. So I did use that 5 off $25 coupon. Basically, I just ran in, grabbed a bunch of Pop-Tarts, threw in a couple of odds and ends to get me over to that $25 subtotal. And then the $5 came off. I ended up paying $20.96 out of pocket. But, you know, we did have some food stamps left over from the pandemic money. So that worked out to be really great because this is definitely over $50 worth of products. So now we're going to go over my number one top tip for Dollar General clearance events, and that is to do your homework. Now, I know that this can be a little bit time consuming, but it is definitely worth it and it will pay off on the day of the event. So watch as many YouTube videos as you can. Even the older ones are very helpful. Also, take screenshots and save those into your phone. That way you'll have that information on the go. And then I recommend that y'all take some notes. Just jot down like the top 10 things that you are looking for to picking up at the event things that you want to look for high value coupons freebies overages things like that go ahead and jot down some notes so that you'll be ready and then you may also want to think about setting a budget because i know for me it is very very easy for me to get out there and overspend during these clearance events all right, so next up here is another transaction that I did back in January, and as y'all can see, it's a lot of food items. I did find a lot of those VA energy drinks, and basically I did the same thing. I got my subtotal up to $25, and then used that 5 off $25 coupon, paid $20.33 for 41 items, which I think is a fantastic deal. All right, moving on into tip number two, I really recommend that the week before the clearance event that you guys go out to your local stores and scope them out. Check out your clearance section, look for POG clearance tags, and also check out what their seasonal items are looking like because usually those are included as well. Now, if your clearance section doesn't look too great, 
don't be worried because I have had a store where the clearance section was literally non-existent but I showed up on the day and bam they had pulled all this stuff out from the back and I was just like shocked I was like where is all this stuff coming from and I had an amazing haul so even if your clearance section is looking a little drab don't you know completely rule that store out just yet you may still want to swing by there and see what they've pulled out from the back all right guys here's another transaction that i did back in january i ended up paying nine dollars and 53 cents for 23 items and i wanted to point out a couple of things in this picture that i think you guys will find helpful so if you notice here i have the downy defy beads those were on clearance from last year okay so like i said before it is very helpful for you guys to watch those older videos as well because you just never know what you might see at your store and you you may not realize that it's on clearance if you don't watch those videos and see those visuals. Now, another thing that I wanted to point out in this picture, if you guys will notice, I picked up some of those Fabuloso wipes. So those were normally $2.65, if I'm not mistaken, but they were not on any clearance list anywhere. But the specific store that I was at had a ton of overstock. So they were pulling out totes and totes and totes full of these Fabuloso wipes. And the manager decided that, hey, we're gonna mark those down an additional 50% off as well. So even though this deal wasn't at every store that I went to it just goes to show you you never know what you're going to find during the dollar general clearance events and these stores will surprise you so he marked these down at 50 percent off and at the time we had to buy one get one free so i picked up both of those for completely free all right, so my number three tip is to go ahead and clip your digital coupons, print off your printable coupons, and organize your inserts. And that way, when you're in the store, things go a little bit smoother, and you'll kind of have everything organized and ready to go. Now, after the clearance event is over, I know my coupon bag is always a hot mess, and I always have to go back and reorganize it later, but it is definitely worth getting things organized before you go. So here's another transaction that I did back in January. This one ended up being $3.08 for 22 items, making each one just 14 cents each. And again, I was using the five off $25 coupon, plus we had instant savings on all of that right guard deodorant. So moving on into tip number four, I highly recommend that y'all check your rebate apps before you go to the clearance event. So make sure that you check out Ibotta, Fetch Rewards, Inbox Dollars, Check Out 51, and Shopkick. Because with these prices being so low, if you even have one rebate for an item, that can make it free plus a money maker. And here is another transaction that I ended up doing back in January and y'all see that total right there 76 cents for 16 items making each one just four cents each and if you notice I did find all of those Dove products that I was looking for so I was super happy about this transaction. Now, if y'all can't tell already, I take these DG clearance events very seriously. I mean, I put a lot of time and effort into it, and it ends up paying off in the long run. So, my number five tip is to prepare the night before. Make sure that you have all of your phones charged, your tablets charged, all of your devices. And you may also want to think about packing some extra phone chargers, battery packs, whatever it may be. I always take two portable battery chargers with me so that I can charge my phone on the go. And then also don't forget about snacks and drinks because hey, I get excited and I'm like, hey, let's go, go, go. And we need some snacks and drinks while we're driving to the next store. All right, guys, so here's my last transaction that I'm going to share with y'all. As you can see, I paid $5.42 for 63 items yes that number is correct as you all can see i found the angel soft bath tissue seven packs i was so excited and then i went up to the front of the store and i found 40 40 yes 40 july 4th penny items i could not even believe it i have never found that many penny items in one shopping trip in my life so this was by far my favorite transaction that i did i mean i couldn't believe it y'all all right, guys, so now we're going to take a look at some of the deals that you all did during the March clearance event. So this first picture comes to us from The Frugal Life with Mercedes. And if you guys are not already following her, you definitely need to go and check out her channel and hit that subscribe button. I'm going to leave it linked in the pinned comment down below so that you guys can go over there and show her some support because she has been a longtime crazy couponer. And check out this haul, guys. She picked up the Pantene. She found some Pop-Tarts. She got the razors. And I know she was 
was taking advantage of her rebate apps as well. She paid $3.53 for all 16 items. Bravo, Mercedes. And here is another transaction that she did during the clearance event. She ended up getting $36 worth of products for just $2.80. I cannot even believe it. It makes me so, so happy to see that y'all are out there saving so much money. So thank you so, so much, Mercedes, for sending me those pictures. It really did brighten up my day. And for the rest of you all, don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button. Like I said, I'm going to leave her YouTube channel linked in the pinned comment down below. She's such a cool girl, and I promise y'all, you will not regret it. All right, next up, we have Julie Boone's haul. Thank you so, so much, Julie, for sending me this picture and that super sweet email. I mean, girl, mm. Thank you. Just thank you. <laughs> so she ended up paying $15.58, but the majority of that was spent on toys and clothes. So she did amazing. So if you worked out the math, that made 18 items completely free. And I can definitely point out those coupon matchups in this picture. And I know you picked up some freebies and took advantage of that overage. All right, next up, we have Laura Parks' haul. Again, thank you so much, Laura, for sending me these pictures. So I can see, girl, you picked up some awesome, awesome deals. You got the Pantene, the Tresemme, the Head & Shoulders. You got the free razors with Overage. You got the free toothpaste with Overage. And I think the most important part of this entire picture here are the Pop-Tarts. <laughs> so who doesn't like some cheap Pop-Tarts? And I know my kids have been loving them. So she ended up paying $14.23 cents for 26 items. Good job, Laura. And Laura did not stop there. Here is another transaction. And do y'all see what I see? Yes, mm, I see some chocolate chip cookies. Yes, please. <laughs> so she's got some chocolate chip cookies. She got in on the cereal and more Pop-Tarts. And y'all, I can see some overages from here. So she definitely got in on some freebies. Now, I do want to point out, again, like I said earlier, um, it is always worth going back and watching those older videos because I don't believe I included the Pop-Tarts in the March clearance videos, the little preparation videos that I made for y'all. But I kept saying, go back and watch those older videos from January because there were just a ton, a ton of awesome deals. I mean, you know, we had like 12 pages worth of items. So it is always, always worth going back and checking out those older videos. So again, Laura, I think you did amazing, especially picking up all of those food items. She ended up paying $23.75 for 33 items. All right, next up, we have Mary Barnes's haul, and girl, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, look at all of those products that she picked up, guys. She's got all of the free toothpaste, she's got free mouthwash, she's got free razors, and she has a ton of overage. And I can see back there, she also picked up some cleaning supplies as well. So, she paid less than $50 on all of these products that you see on her table here, plus she used her overages on six packs of Cottonelle bath tissue. So how smart is that? Just go in, pick up a couple of those free toothpaste with overages, grab you a pack of Cottonelle, and you are good to go because you're going to have to buy those things anyway. So why not try to get a good deal on it, right? So thank you so, so much, Mary, for sharing this picture with us and congratulations on an awesome haul. All right, next up, we have Johanna Blankenship, and I apologize if I'm saying your name wrong, um, but I, I hope I'm getting it right. So, Johanna, thank you so much for sending me these pictures in. This is actually a 5 off $25 deal that she did. Two transactions. One was completely free. She was taking advantage of some paper coupons with Overage, so one of her transactions was completely free, and the other one was $7.47, so she ended up paying $7.47 for everything that you see in these pictures. So y'all check out these pictures. She got a ton of Snuggle products always and Febreze products all for $7.47. So again, thank you so, so much, Johanna, for sending me these pictures and sharing with all of us. All right, guys, next up, I know y'all have seen this crazy couponer down in the comment section. Yes, it is the one and only Tiffany C coming in hot. And check it out, y'all. Look at all those Febreze products. Plus, this awesome girl found the three-pack of Clorox wipes. Now, I remember these from back in January, and if I'm not mistaken, I 
think each three pack of the Clorox wipes was like a dollar and some change, two dollars at the most. So I know she got some really awesome deals. Now moving on into our next picture here, you can see she did find the cereal. So great deal there. And I know she took advantage of those freebies and overages with that Aussie shampoo and the toothpaste. And here is another picture that she sent in. So as y'all can see, she got the free Aussie shampoo, the free Colgate toothpaste, and all of those products gave her overages that she used on other items that she wanted to pick up during the clearance event. And she also sent in a picture of all of her ice cream penny finds. So she found a ton. She's got the Butterfingers, the Snickers, the Sour Patch Kids, and the Twix. Girl, I am so jealous that you found those Twix. I was looking everywhere for them, but I am so glad that you found so many. And who can't beat it? Ice cream for a penny? Yes, please. All right, guys, last but certainly never least, because this is one of my longest crazy couponers on here, and she has become a dear, dear friend, we have Rena Wilkins Hall, and y'all, y'all, OMG, that's all I gotta say about this one, because this awesome lady, she got out, and she went to all of her stores around her area, she found a store that was 50% off, but the manager was manually marking down an additional 90% off at the register. Can y'all believe that? So this is the perfect example of why I say you may want to run in and check out all of your stores around you, you know. Even if you're just running in and asking the employee, hey, what's up with the clearance event and running right back out. It's definitely worth stopping into all of the stores in your area because, hey, I have had this happen to me before. It wasn't 90% off, but the employees were taking an additional 75% off at the register. And that was one of my very first clearance events. I couldn't believe it and I was hooked from there on out. So that just goes to show you, you never ever know what is going to happen during the DG clearance events. So let me give y'all some highlights of her haul because she got a ton of awesome deals and we would be here all day long if I were to go through and tell you all all of the great deals that she got. And I do want to say if we lived closer together, we would be in trouble. <laughs> We'd be in trouble because our husbands would probably literally be like, you're out. You are kicked out of this house. Y'all go just stay away. Stay away. <laughs> so here are some highlights of her haul. She ended up paying $83 for everything that y'all see in all of these pictures, guys. All of them. $83. Remember, her store was 50% off, and then the manager was taking an additional 90% off at the register. So, a couple of things. She paid $0.11 cents for those big hamper baskets that y'all seen in that first picture. She found dog beds. She got a ton of the As Seen on TV products. She found one of her favorite finds was a $20 griddle for just $0.50. Cents amazing find amazing she also picked up 49 small blankets and 12 large blankets and as y'all are going to see in this last picture she found a ton of socks and makeups y'all think about it we were getting overages at 50 percent off can you imagine how much she had left over for an additional 90 percent off i mean maybelline covergirl colgate febreze even dove hand soap girl you did amazing i think this is probably one of the best and biggest hauls I have ever seen from a clearance event. All right, guys, so there you have it. There are all of the pictures that were sent in to me, and I want to thank you guys so, so much for sharing those. And I do want to say congratulations to everybody out there who is couponing, because whether your hauls are big or small, or you have a low out-of-pocket or a high out-of-pocket, the only thing that matters is that you guys are saving money. So if you save $1, that is a win in my book, because I started this YouTube channel to help others save money. I know how to do it for myself and for my family, but I really put a lot of time and effort and thought into the videos that I make. So when you guys say, hey, it's paid off, your videos helped me and my family save a little bit this month, it really does mean the world to me. All right, guys, so enough of my rambling. Let's get into this giveaway, shall we? So for this one, I'm going to be choosing four 
winners to receive a $20 gift card. Now, I'm going to let y'all choose whether you want a Walmart gift card or an Amazon gift card because I know times are tough right now and you may need to use that Walmart gift card for gas <laughs> for your vehicle. So, Walmart or Amazon $20 gift card for winners. So, the only thing that y'all need to do to enter to win this giveaway is make sure that you are subscribed. It's also a good idea to turn on your notifications so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos and announce the winners. Also, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave me a comment down below. I'm going to ask y'all a question here in just a second. And hit that share button right below this video and share this video. You can either share it to somebody you know or you can just share it to yourself. I know that some of us are a little bit stingy, so just share the video to yourself in a text message or an email. Now, all four of these things really do make a huge difference in how our videos perform for us YouTubers. So if you are watching couponers out there and you appreciate their content and you appreciate them sharing their deals, the best way and the easiest way that you can help support them is to make sure you're subscribed, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment, hi, hello, thank you, goodbye, whatever, and then hit that share button and share that video link to yourself in a text message, okay? Because like I said, most YouTubers don't get paid for the amount of time that they put into their videos. So all of those things are very important and it is a free and easy way that you can help support our channels. So here's the question that I want y'all to answer in the comment section down below. So let me know what was your best couponing haul or deal. This could be a big couponing haul, like a clearance event haul. This could be a simple coupon matchup. It could be an Ibotta rebate matchup. You name it, anything goes. Just let me know which haul or deal are you most proud of. So again, I'm going to choose four people to receive a $20 gift card, either from Walmart or Amazon. Y'all will get to choose which one you want. And I'm going to let this giveaway go for seven days. So I'm going to announce the winners in next Monday's video. So make sure that you tune back in and make sure that you have those notifications turned on. Alright guys, so that is it for me for now. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope you guys learned a couple of things about Dollar General clearance events that you may not have known before. Hopefully. So, good luck with the giveaway guys and before you go, don't forget, subscribe, like, comment, and share. Thank you all so, so much for watching and for your continued support. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all have a wonderful, fantastic day and I will see you all on the next one.